Right, I will show you how to make a single helper node that serves as an in-game notification to display text feedback information such as queue damage or point notification, chat messages, debug notifications, etc. First, you add in a base node to the name it push text notification, I add in a script and save all that. Now we need to create the label that will be instanced here when we send the message. Now create a new scene using a label as the root node, name it push label and add the font to it. Add a twin node and an animation player node. Select the label node and in the animation panel create a new animation of fade. Then start with a base color of green. Add in a keyframe. Move the play header to the right of it and add another keyframe. Then move it again. This time reducing the opacity. And add in a keyframe. If you are satisfied with it, you can save everything. Then add a script to the push label. Now put this code in the ready function and put this in the process function. So when the node has been created or instance, it plays the fade animation and then it moves itself upwards in 1.5 seconds. Then in the process function, after 1.5 seconds of moving up, it deletes itself. Now back at the push text notification node script, add this as variables. The push label variable is the part to the push label scene we just created and the message array to hold all messages coming in. Now add these two functions. The push message is what will actually be used to send messages that will be displayed. Then the add label function is what is used internally to create instances of the push label. Now in the process function, we check if the array size is greater than zero, then we add a label. Okay, to finally use this, we can create a game scene. Then we attach a script. Then add a button node. Put in the text for the button, resize it and position it where we would like. Select the game scene and drag in the push text notification scene. Select the button and connect the press signal to our script. Create an unready var reference to the push text notification. Then in the button press function, add this, which will send the message click when we click on the button. Save the game scene and the script. And done. Um, let's try and run it. Select current scene. We ran into an error. Going back to the push text notification script, I noticed I messed up the path to the push label, which is supposed to be this. The problem with this is that messages are displayed as soon as they are sent, which can cause cluster. One way to fix this is go back to the push text notification scene, then add a timer, then set it to auto start and the wait time to 0.4 seconds. Connect the timeout signal back to the script. Then add the variable old wait time, use timer and the reference to the timer. In the ready function, the old wait time equals the timer's wait time. Change the process function to this which will give us the option to use the timer or the process frames to display the notification message. And then finally in the timeout function, if the RSI is greater than 0 and use timer equals true, then add label. Now clicking the button quickly does not cluster like before. Instead the messages are stacked in the message array and then the timer displays them at 0.4 seconds each.